Okay, Sunday morning in the kingdom, and it warmed up a bit. Yes, it warmed up. It feels warm out here. Oh, wait, I'm standing in the doorway of the whole shack. Yes, open the door and stand outside. Yes, how smart. Okay, we woke up to minus 30 below Celsius, but feels like minus 43. That is warmer. Okay, on the yo-yo scale, minus 22, but feels like minus 45 Fahrenheit. Yes, it is warmer. And also, too, I didn't untangle the flags. They're over here somewhere in the smoke because it's going to be windy today. Yes, it's going to be windy. And also, too, it's Sunday, so clean your vacuum. Okay, the dog isn't shedding his bat. All right, I'll put it down. Oh, I'll have to walk forward. The smoke is bad. Go look at the cleavage. All right, so let's try to venture out into the smoke. Yes, the London fog. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes, Cheech and Chong in the car. Remember that? Also, too, we'd like to thank Carol for the markers. Yes, we use these in the kingdom to write on everything to make notes and stuff. So we thank you very much, Carol, plus the Christmas card you sent. That was nice with the horse and everything. Yes, I'm not a horse person. The first wife had horses, so they took a dislike to me. For some reason, I don't know why. They didn't like me. I couldn't ride them. I couldn't feed them. I couldn't do anything to them. They just hated me. Like the people of Whoville. All right, let's venture out the smoke stop there. We'll do a quick scroll this way. All right, the sun is coming up. The days are getting longer. <sighs> Crest fresh. Oh, that's the minty style. The staff just bought me a new mouthwash thing. That's minty. Can you smell it? Yes, Les Nessman. All right, the flags are tangled up because it's chilly wind. And we'll do a quick scroll here for the Swedish kid to see the wood smoke. Yes, it's going to be a good day today because we're going to finish up the loose ends on the curse and reverse. Because it was one week ago today we put them in the shop. And then tomorrow we weld and weld and put the hydraulics on and make the blade go up and down. And then we can drive it outside. To break down or to push the first snowbank and it'll break down all right i better go the smoke is bad and here comes the boss okay the base temperature is warmer than the other days but the wind is getting up i don't know if you can see those trees move way over there less nestman but the shop is good we seem to have insulated it or sealed it up so it's not breezy in here all right let's check on the cat okay we have to make an alternator bracket for the td6 known as curse of reverse which now has the farm gas motor from the united states of america so this is what i did in live with laverne that's very lame ass just bolted an angle iron on and kind of bolted the tightener thing on okay but then again i didn't have a plasma cutter and i think that was we are in tough times in 2019 we did a project for some fellows there and they didn't pay us about eighty thousand, so it was tough times okay so now we have the plasma cutter and we have the Hobart Handler 100. We took a risk today and we went up to two because we've been doing all the welding on one, but we went up to two and V stands for victory. All right, so we kept the wire speed at 30 and we got some nice welds. Okay, look at that. I didn't even buff them or grind them or make them look pretty. So this will go on the cat. So we'll head over there. Okay, I got it on the cat and it looks crooked because once you tighten it up, this will go up a little bit and be snugged, okay? And then we'll make the tightener from here to there and we should be good. Oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Okay, now we can put the hood on and then we can work on the back end of this cat because we got to put the tail on. Yes, the tail. There's the cable. There's the tail. And we also have to put the chains on the draw pins, okay? And the swing pin too because as soon as you take the bolt out of the swing oh over there you lose it in the snow so you got to put a chain on it so we'll put the chains on the tail on and then this cat will look good plus we got to finish wiring in the light that's kind of hanging down there and then we can start figuring out the hydraulic cylinders which is this mess laying on the floor so hopefully the gods of hydraulicness will help us out 
Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom and we're putting the hood on and the hood doesn't fit, which is normal. This hood's never fit since the day I got it. All right. But we got the alternator bracketry all looking pretty. So that's worthy of a, how would you say, a crafts show or something. I don't know. I'm a craftsman. No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a magician. I try to make it look good. All right. So after lunch, we finish the hood. We mount the headlights on the front, fix the backlights. And then we start working on the tail to make it a manly cat. All right, let's go have some lunch, which is bacon and eggs with some hash browns. Sunday morning in Whoville, it's just after 10 a.m. and it is windy out here today. It wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't for the wind. We are still under extreme cold warning as well. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out just for five seconds because it is cold. Make breakfast and see what's going on today. Since it's still cold like this, I doubt we'll be doing anything in the kingdom. Look at those trees blow. You can feel the wind inside the house too, but at least I have the wood stove going, so it's nice and warm in there. After breakfast, I'm down in the basement putting some more wood in the stove here, so we'll give a little look. It's burning pretty good. The basement and the whole house is actually nice and warm. Now we'll head on back upstairs and do some dishes and laundry this morning. Almost lunchtime and I just came down to check on the wood stove. It's burning pretty good. The house is nice and warm. I have a couple fans going on it too to get the heat moving around the house. We have one here and then there's one on the other side of the wood stove over there. Now it's time to head upstairs and make lunch. Almost one o'clock and I just got the skidoo started and it's warming up right now. As you can see the sun's making an appearance but it looks like it's trying to snow as well. It's getting pretty cloudy and nasty off into the distance so I better head on over to the kingdom quickly here before it starts to snow. 1.30 and I just made it to the kingdom. It sure is windy out there this afternoon. It was a pretty cold drive over here even though it's just a couple blocks. Now I'll head down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. Just talked to my dad and he said we're not doing anything today because it's still too cold and windy. He asked me to fill up the wheelbarrow here. That way he has it for the shop later on until he gets dressed up to go outside. Look at these flags. You can tell it's windy out here because of how much they're moving and only the two of them are tangled up right now. But I'm sure later on with all this wind they'll all be tangled by the end of the day. Back behind the house now, it's time to load up the wheelbarrow. It's been way too cold to get the mini out, so that's why we're just hand bombing this stuff over. But once it gets warm, we'll get it out and drag these last two totes over. Got the wheelbarrow loaded up and this one's now empty. So the next time my dad comes out, he'll be taken out of these two far ones. And I'll head on down to the shop and put this in there for him. Two o'clock and I'm just finishing up at the kingdom. We're not doing anything today because it's way too windy and cold. So I'm gonna head on back into Whoville with my dog treats and hunker down and watch the wood stove and stay nice and toasty warm. I do start work at the school on Monday, so it's gonna be interesting. I'm excited to do that because it'll be something different. I haven't stepped foot in that school in a long time since I was actually in school, so this should be fun. Now let's head on back into Whoville because I am cold. Just after 2 p.m. and I made it back from the kingdom and put the skidoo away. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out for five seconds, and I gotta start a load of laundry. I actually went and picked up my dad's laundry as well, so when I go back there tomorrow after work, I can drop everything off. Now let's head inside. Almost 5 o'clock, and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 24 degrees Celsius, which is negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It is still pretty windy here and nasty. It's actually trying to snow off into the distance, as you can see there. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out. I'm not sure what I'll make for supper, but we'll figure that out. Almost six o'clock and the street lights have come on. As you can see, it's still trying to snow and it's gotten a lot windier since earlier. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in because I can hear them crying. I'm not sure what I'll have for supper. I think I'm just gonna have soup and a sandwich because it is pretty cold and I don't feel like cooking and end my day. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom and I didn't eat the hash browns because that'll fill me up. So we have a set, a set routine with uh, six eggs. The dogs get two, I get four, and we have the bacon. We share it amongst ourselves, plus the dogs get frozen bacon treats too. All right, so here we are. Somebody made a mistake when they put the hole in the hood. I don't know what happened, you know, so we had to cut it. So to make sure we didn't set the motor on fire because there's the carburetor, the rubber hoses, the heater hoses, everything like that. We set up a wibbly wobbly thingy here, okay? Just like uh, Plinko. Yeah, on Price is Right. I think it was Plinko where you drop it and tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. All right, so hopefully we didn't burn any hoses. I see no fire. 
and let's see if we can get this hood done and hit the headlights on because it's getting close oh i got that burps i had a handful of peanuts after lunch okay but they're forecasting nasty weather today it's blowing and chilly out there of course you can't see last night's one because there's a glare all right but it's supposed to start snowing when it warms up so hopefully this cat will be ready to go out and break down pushing snow and then we know what the next problem will be okay coffee time in the kingdom we got the front of the cat put back together we got the winter front on the headlights work so we can go out and plow snow it's getting nasty outside the staff showed up and filled the wheelbarrow for us and hopefully tomorrow is nice enough we can take the mini hoe out to get some totes of wood moved up to the shop all right so everything's all buttoned up and we're working on the tail back here yeah it's the tail pole okay we put the chains on to pull the pin okay and so we don't lose the swivel thingy right there. Come on. Do I have enough talent? There we go. There. Hand and foot coordination. Not that good. So I just used the Hobart Handler 100 just to tack weld the pole on, okay? Because I will have the stick welder running probably tomorrow when we do the hydraulics over here, okay? So I'll just do the tack welds and then tomorrow we have the gas power welder over there the Lincoln 250 no Ranger 250 oh these lips need some vodka because we got to mount the hydraulic cylinders down here to lift the blade up and down because that'll work out better for moving snow as they say all right let's go have some coffee with some vodka in it because these lips aren't working okay for the first time in probably 12 15 years yeah 15 years yeah 14 for sure the tail is back on the com curse of reverse oh i get them mixed up they all look the same it's a good thing i don't have twin kids because i'd be confused so we got the tail on so that looks good so the whole idea of the tail is you're going along doing a road break plowing the snow and then all of a sudden you find a wet spot and sink down so you just throw the tail off and you can pull yourself off we've done that with the famous black cat 18 times or if you sink it really good you can hook the tail from the surface and then get it to get it so you can hook on and yank the cat out it's a lot better than trying to hook something up in the water or in the muskeg or whatever okay so that looks good all right oh where am i okay we're over here okay slowly turn stop and admire the promo bike yes quality junk all right over here the workbench we got these cylinders in scrap in scrap or whatever in 2018 these things bolts were seized in here and over here so soaking them down from since 2018 paid off because now they came out so now we're going to make some mounting brackets for those cylinders okay but as you can see the cylinders are kind of oblob oval yes just like on sesame street that's oval or oblob okay so we know the odds of me drilling a hole would be a waste of time so i'm going to push the limits of the plasma cutter okay We'll go over here to Pro Point 30A plus. All right, I think this material might be a little too thick for it, but we'll go and try. So what I did was drill a pre-hole, okay? So that way this uh, first cut is blowing straight through, not back in the tip. I put a new tip in. So there's for the viewing audience at home. That's your tip. And then this is the little ring here that gets blown away or vaporized when moisture comes out the air holes here okay because you got moisture hitting electrical so anytime uh water and electrical mix that doesn't look uh, doesn't end well okay ask nikola tesla all right so then we put the collar on the tip or the cone as they say and then the nozzle shield or whatever i like this a lot better than the other piece of junk i had okay this one is all coated in so you can slide it, bump it, touch it on everything. The other one was fully exposed. This was sticking out or whatever. And the cone or whatever that. Oh, every time you turn around, I was arcing it out and I felt good, the electrical shocks. All right, let's get this done so we can cut some holes so we know what we're doing tomorrow because we want to figure this out because we're going to try and make these cylinders work because we have no other choice. Yes, we live at the end of the world. We just can't run to Napa and buy two new two new cylinders on the way home and pick up a case of beer. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, we've gone as far as we can go today because we have to start the gas-powered welder. Yes, and we're going to do that tomorrow because then the welder can be running and heating the shop because if I was to start it now, 
I'd be overheating the shop, right? Because we have the wood stove going. So this is what it's going to look like. I've already allowed for the blade to angle back. Oh, we better back up to explain to the viewers. Okay, for this blade to angle, it's pivoted there. This arm goes this way to the far hole. And that arm over there goes forward to that hole. So that gives you an angle. So the angle each way, it's called a manual angle. Nowadays, these uh, young operators sit in the new style cats and just uh, twist of a wrist on the controls, joystick controls and the blade turns either way. All right, so we marked the lines on here so we know that we're not gonna have interference with this, this arm here when it comes back to here. And we got the bolt in there, it's gonna work out good. So once we get that welded, we can raise this up here to figure out how we're gonna, how would you say, hinge it on, duct tape won't work. Very pleased with the ProPoint 30A Plus. Look at that, right? And that is freehand, yes. Just the right amount of vodka and your body motions flow. So I'm very pleased with that. I increased the amperage or whatever up to 29. I usually cut the thick stuff at 28. Today I felt lucky and we went to 29. And then we turn it back down to 2.4, which is with the beer we buy. So we, how would you say, we're not over her, overworking the machine all right let's go check on the flags okay we're going to be short today on video so as you say let's have some reruns from 2023 
key. The temperature has warmed up, but the wind has gotten up. It's like a Saskatchewan wind or Wyoming wind. But look at the skies. We're supposed to get snow tonight. And we'll be ready with the curse of reverse to go plowing snow for the first 15 feet till he breaks down. Look at the flags. They're enjoying the wind. But it's too cold out here for me. Now I know why I don't live in the south. Let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. Talk to you later.